for. Uh, today I would like to talk in a topic about in common of plastic and about a uh, common problem that only one in five plastic bottles are recycled. So, uh, first of all, what is plastic? Uh, plastic is a material that is made out of refined oil. Um, by refined oil, it's, uh, polyethylene is made. And polyethylene is plastic itself when they make plastic product. So, uh, by the way, we can say that plastic is very harmful uh, because oil is a product that uh, doesn't compose in the soil. Like because we know that plastic compose in the soil like or one times in 100 years and uh, it spreads out its poisonous to other plants and so on. So, um, common usage of plastic. Of course, plastic is like the common thing that we use in our life. We can't, for example, we can't live without plastic because when in childhood we all our toys uh, were made of plastic, we all drink waters from plastic bottles, or when we do our shopping, we take out our purchases from supermarket in plastic bags. So plastic is like uh, like an like illness that spread out to us. We can uh, that, for example, we can drink like uh, waters from glass bottles, but it's very expensive, and plastic is cheap. So yes. Um, advantages so plastic is unbreakable. Uh, it's it has good adhesiveness. Uh, it is light in weight. It it is resistant and cannot be inert. It's also odorless. So as we know, uh, plastic is very flexible, so we can break it anyway. Um, it's also light in weight, so uh, if you like drink some water, we don't like if you put it in our bed, we don't like have any waste in our shop. So uh, it has good ad adhesiveness. And it's coarse and resistant. It's also odorless, so it doesn't have any smells. But everything has its own disadvantages. So uh, when first, like when you put up your plastic bottle in the sun, uh, it provides some chemical inerts, and then you can it causes cancer. Uh, uh, it also produces toxic fumes when it is burned. So. We know that uh, when uh, we throw our like garbage in the bins, uh, the, the car takes it to the place and they burn it. So uh, when plastic is burned, it, it kind of uh, produces toxic fumes that is bad for our atmosphere. When that toxic fumes go uh, up, up to our atmosphere, um, it produces ozone layers. Ozone layers is like a uh, like a uh, holes in our atmosphere that uh, doesn't protect from sun. So if you get up and sun from ozone layer, you probably get a cancer. So that's bad. Um, so plastic decomposes in the soil more than 100 years. Um, so uh, like there are people that are lazy to throw out their garbage in the bins, so they just throw out their plastic in the uh, soil or in the grasses in the field. So um, when when plastic is thrown out in the grass or field, like we think that it decomposes like in one two days, but it decomposes in one hundred years one time. And while it is getting decomposed, it uh, produces toxic waste in the soil. And when animals like uh, we have like um, domestic animals like in the farms like sheep, cows, when they like eat grass, grasses from the soil, they get like uh, they get poisoned by the toxic and that spread out everywhere. Also, just not animals, like, we also get our vegetables, like, planted in the grass, grasses, fields. So, we also get poisoned sometimes. Um, also, it pollutes environment, so that's what I want to tell you about the ozone layers. When ozone layers are, like, made, it's, it causes, like, global warming also. Now you can see from the space in our atmosphere a big ozone layer uh, above the uh, uh, Antarctica. That's why Antarctica is melting so fast. Uh, I think so soon it will be uh, soon Antarctica will melt all. Uh, main problems. Uh, well, three main problems. Um, the first main problem is long period of decomposing plastic. So that harms our grass and our soils, polluting by people. So I, I told you about people that they are lazy, that they throw away their plastic means like um, if there are some big events in the like big city, 
And after that event, you can always see that some people like threw out their plastic bottles, their plastic bags in the ground, and that's very unhappy. Harf harmful utilizations, uh, it's burning. Um, like many governments or countries get rid of plastic by just burning it away because they don't have any other ways. There are like equipments like for recycling um, plastic, but it's very really, like expensive and even not many countries afford themselves that kind of equipment. So burning is just the uh, easiest way to get rid of the plastic. So uh, that's very bad because um, again I, I'm telling you that it makes ozone layers in our atmosphere and by ozone layers it causes global warming. Uh, so of course every problem has its own solution in every, every so every problem has its own solution. So first solution, the biggest solution is the rethinking of people. First of all, people should change themselves, their minds. Like uh, instead of being lazy, they just should walk up like five meters and throw the plastic bottles in the bin, so they won't cause any problems then in decomposing. Then. So, also the biggest solution is reuse instead of producing. So, uh, like, uh, I've heard that uh, the energy that uh, makes one plastic bottle could recycle 10 plastic bottles. So, instead of producing plastic bottles, uh, the government could, like, save up money and buy a big equipment that can recycle our plastic bottles. And uh, by that we can, um, we make our environment better than it's now. Special bins and equipment, like I've said now, uh, there are like, you can see this sign, it's a, a special sign for recycling. Um, just uh, try to, uh, try to, uh, try to kind of um, throw your plastic bottles and plastic equipment to the bins with that kind of sign. So if you throw that in that kind of sign, that it means that uh, the people that, uh, the people who recycle this stuff, so uh, as uh, the energy required to make one plastic bottle can recycle ten plastic bottles. Please recycle, don't produce.